So what is up people, it's uh, Pipe Man Rob here doing another one of my um, Halloween video vlogs. This time coming from Cursed here down at Watts Isla in Essex. This is my first time doing a video actually on Facebook for once rather than on Snapchat. I'm trying out a few new things. As I said, next year we'll be doing YouTube channeling rather than on Snapchat. So it's the first time trying it. We're just waiting now to get in. We're, our tickets are booked for 7 o'clock. It's about 10 to now. So next 10 minutes or so we'll be going inside and experiencing the attractions here. Really looking forward to it. Never actually been to um, Curse before. So really looking forward to seeing what they've got this year. So as you can see, the actors are already starting to come out and about. We just had one come up to the gate and like try and scare us. Didn't work that well, but it, it, it'd be more scary when you go inside, obviously. So they are out and about getting ready to go. I see about the next 10 minutes or so we're going to be going inside and experiencing it. I think the first one we're going to do is the clown one, first of all. It seems like this year you're going to go through and do it in a sort of order, I guess. Like, so, But again, I've never been before, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do it here. Here we go guys, the gates are open. Time to experience Cursed 2021. So guys, we've arrived at the central hub here for the Cursed and all around us are the scare mazes. We've got the HMB Bridgegate Institution, we've got the sewers, we have got some sort of haunted house like pub over there. Uh, I don't know all the names for them, but I will try and get them up for you. But we've got five different mazes to experience. We've just done two of them coming through the entrance. So that was like the, um, the circus maze and the um, the safe zone. Really good actors in there throughout, sort of like, you know, nice, nice, and it's really well themed as well, actually. The, the theming is unbelievable so far, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've got for the rest of the mazes as well. So the first one we're gonna do is Selex here at HMP Bridge Gates. This is the first one we're gonna do. I don't think we're allowed to film actually inside the mazes, so I'll give you uh, my reviews after the mazes at the end of this video, okay? Here we go, guys. First one, the institution. HMB Bridgegate. So it just came out of Cell X here at Cursed down at Watt Tyler. Really good scare maze that one. There was lots of actors in there. It was like a sort of like almost like an asylum style maze really. Um, inside the like a lot of actors jumping out at you. There's a really, really cool strobe maze section. Not really good start to um, Curse actually, yeah, a really good start maze. Next one we're gonna do now is behind me. We're gonna do sewers next. Again, no idea what to expect in this one. Never been here before. So, so far so good though. And there's not really much of a queue for the mazes. So it is really sort of quite quiet here tonight. So actually it's, uh, the first night it's been on. So I'm guessing it's gonna get a bit busier later on and definitely in half term. So. Anyway, on to the next maze. Time for a bit of sewers. Here we go. So just come out of the sewers scare maze here at Curse. Again, another really good scare maze. That one was a different theme to the previous one. So they all got different theming slightly. That one was sort of themed around like sort of going underground. You got lots of low pipes sort of areas, low tunnels that you went through. Lots of smoke effects in there. Couldn't really see where you was going. Plenty of actors. The one thing I will say is there's really lots of actors in all these mazes. So if you are coming down to Curse, Plenty of actors in there, really good so far. Not so many effects in these mazes as you get at some of the bigger parks and stuff, but bear in mind this is all sort of community run, this sort of thing. It's like, it's not like a theme park where they've got loads and loads and loads of money to go and spend on like getting loads of effects and stuff. But so far, the actors and the actual theming in the mazes has been really good so far. So, so far, so good tonight. And we've got two more to do now. I think the next one we're gonna go over to is the pub one over there just in front of me. So the two we've done so far are Cell X and the Sewers Maze. We also did the Safe Zone and the um, Fun Fair one just before we came in. So far, so good, really good so far. Plenty more to still come tonight though. So just come out of uh, Alf's Emporium. That was probably by far the best one so far. Like, there were some really good scenes in there. Really good use of actors and sound effects. Lighting was really the good in that one as well. well. And the makeup was really cool. I like the makeup. Um, yeah. I sort of got a bit of a vibe off that one from sort of, if anyone did like Nemesis Subterra at um, uh, Alton Towers, it was a bit like that without, without the ride bit, but it was kind of a bit like that sort of maze. It was all themed around like these sort of alien eggs. So, so I can see where they've sort of got that idea from. Not a complete rip off though, it's it a different storyline, but 
the idea there is obviously quite similar. Anyway, we've got one more maze left to do now this evening. It's gone pretty quick really, but the mazes don't really take that long, but the atmosphere has been really good though. So there we go, just done our last maze of the evening here at Curse. That was the, um, the haunting maze. Actually, that one was, I wouldn't say it was a hooded maze, more of it was like a sort of uh, blindfolded maze. So they gave you like a sort of blindfold to put over your eyes and you follow a rope through. Now, it was an okay maze, but I'm not a really a massive fan of these sort of like hooded style mazes because they don't really scare me that much. I mean, if you're, if you are scared of things that when you can't see where you're going, so then I understand these mazes being quite good, but me personally don't get scared much by this one. So that was probably my least favorite one here tonight. But by far sort of like wrapping up the sort of evening video for you of, um, of Cursed. If you've never been before, I definitely recommend coming to it because it is a really good sort of layout. There's like different styles of mazes. Actors are really, really good. And the set pieces are really, really actually good as well. Only thing it does lack that like the bigger theme park ones have is it does lack the um, like special effects and stuff sometimes. But to be fair, like they obviously don't have as big a budget as some of the theme parks do have. So like it's really good sort of, like from like based on the actual quality and the set pieces and, and stuff. Respect. Have some respect for that, like really good. And I must admit, if I have to rate them at the best ones I've seen here, Alf's Emporium was probably the best one for me. I'd say Cell X was probably my second favorite one, followed by Sewers, and then um, the Hooded Maze was my least favorite one. But the two we went through at the start were really good. Like the, the had the sort of circus theme one, yeah, lots, like of act, was, lots of yeah, actors in a, there. You had a safe zone and then it was like a fully immersive dark it was literally you couldn't yeah you couldn't nothing, see where you went and there was nothing. actors jumping out everywhere so to wrap up the sort of night it really was good i say there's a good if you've never been before definitely do come and like i say the actors here and the set pieces are really really good so a really good sort of night really um down here at curse so definitely recommend people coming to see it